quite a match for Havorje. Uh, and that leaves Renat Rahimov of Uzbekistan fighting for Mexico Guerreros to try and bring the win home against the phenomenal WSB fighters that we've seen. Boxeo. Desde el Foro Polanco, Ciudad de México, tenemos nuestra quinta y última pelea. Presentamos en la esquina azul de Kazajstán la presencia de Filip Garikabi. Filip Hergovic, I'm sure you'll all have your uh, favorite super heavyweights, but it's great to see a big man like this step into the ring. One meter 98 tall, currently world ranked at three, three time Croatian national champion, 2012 WSB individual Vamos, champion with that marvelous win loss record. 17 wins, just three losses, four TKOs on the way. México de Uzbekistán, la presencia de Rena Rajimo. It's a big ask for this man. Rena Rajimov steps out for Mexico Guerreros to replace uh, Gerardo Miguel Bisbal, who was going to be fighting the Puerto Rican. But, uh, Rajimov has been handed his chance. Sometimes that's what this sport is all about. Giving a shot at glory, and this is his chance. A win to keep uh, the Mexico Guerrero's season just alive. But he's got to do it against one of the big boys on the WSB. Right. And right now, with uh, Hodrovic already in the ring, Gonna feel pretty small up there. Damas y veros tenemos como jueces para esta pelea. Mauricio Gorni de Polonia, René Jos de Eslovaquia, Jan Ruben Lane de Francia. El tercero en la superficie, Tony Germain de Canadá. Damas y caballeros, en la Serie Mundial de Boxeo, a continuación, en la categoría de los 91 kilogramos, pelearán cinco rounds. Presentamos primeramente en la esquina azul de Astana, Kazajstán, la presencia de Filir Gobik. Tenemos en la esquina contraria, en el equipo de los Guerreros de México, de Uzbekistán, la presencia de Rena, la Rana Rajimo. So, Rajimov. Mexico Guerrero's last hope as uh, referee Tony Gemma of Canada calls no the boys problem. into the middle and you can Still see the height difference. Always obey to my command. Okay. It really is quite dramatic and that is what Hulgovic is going to try and make work for him, the 21-year-old Croatian. Well, when he gets it right, he really Thanks. is very, very difficult to contain. To say, Rakimov had a certain air about him coming to the ring. He, he looked like he was up for this. But the super heavyweights you don't uh, associate with the most mobile of uh, boxing. They are the big units, and uh, Rakimov is going to have to find some really good footwork to get around that Rogovic jab which has kept the best in the world at bay on the WSB for the last four seasons. No holding. Big shot, just such a huge noise. And the gloves land. 
Rick. It's the difference in punching Rick. between the super heavies, the heavies, and the lighter categories. We so often see that initial confidence and exuberance of Rakimov has drained away with just one solid Stop. shot from Hudgovic. And uh, that was certainly not a knockdown. Just a slip confirmed, no standing eight count. But Rakimov now very, very wary indeed. And oh dear, he bounced off the rope and walked straight back into a right hook and again no holding Ogovic now I don't think too concerned about Rakimov's punching power he's just trying to get that right hand over the top big scything hook and as far as he's concerned that'll Stop. be the one that finishes the job tonight Thanks. The warning for Rakimov to stop turning. Oh, good shots. Through with the jab, good follow up with the right. Stop! Oh, One. this is painful. Two. There's the first uh, standing eight, Four. and I think that's a good call Six. from Tony Seven. German. Eight. Good to go. Six. A little bit more punishment for Rakimov to take before this one's over, but uh, Rigovic now got the bit between his teeth, just trying to throw the haymaker to seconds. put his opponent on the canvas. Ten seconds left in this first round, so Rakimov should be able to get it through to a second. Stop. And there we go. But he's going to need a miracle tonight if he's going to pull this one off for Mexico Guerreros. And as they have done in a number of tight contests over the last four seasons, Stana Arlan's Kazakhstan turning things around when they needed it. Not all been one-way traffic, the occasional shot getting through from Rakimov. The man in the gold trunks led his team to victory last season. Looking highly likely to lead his team to the win here, away from home. Mexico City, this tremendously difficult venue to come to for a result. There's the standing count, the big right. Good enough to get to Tony German's interest anyway, the referee. Second. Round two, and a slightly reluctant looking Rakimov comes to the center of the ring to renew his contest. Up. One meter ninety-eight tall. Philip Rogovic. work Rakimov giving a little bit of respect here to Rakimov just working that jab and Rakimov throwing some punches here at the start of this second round surely just a matter of time though before the Astana man tags his opponent with a telling blow from Rakimov but caught one for his troubles Holding. Right. No holding. Oh, that's blood I think coming from uh, Rogovic's nose it was that little flurry of blows from Rakimov when Rogovic was all over him that has caused the bleed 
It'll give some encouragement, won't it, Don't to uh, Stop. the Guerrero's fighter. Don't push. Next. In this situation, you'll take any positive, won't you? Stop. And there we go. I think okay. that was just a slip. Okay. It's a slip from Next. a tired man. Stop. Knock him off. It's hurting here. TKO. Oh, TKO being called. Well, that's caught everybody by surprise. It wasn't the full throw of the towel. It was uh, just Coach Bonilla hanging the towel over the edge of the ropes to say, thank you, that's it. My man has taken enough for this evening. And uh, Rakimov wants to debate this. But there was a, a couple of crunching blows delivered by the Astana man. That's what caused, I think, that uh, very small nosebleed, but it was uh, a little bit of encouragement for Rakimov. And then what looked like a slip, it certainly wasn't being counted as a, counted as a, a standing eight by Tony German, the referee. But as Rakimov rose from the canvas, Guerrero's coach just hung the towel out over the rope. Well, the coaches know their fighters very well. Uh, but we just have to bow to experience there. He would have seen that little stumble at the end. That was good enough for the TKO. So what started out as an evening of great promise for the Mexico Guerreros, unfortunately, hasn't quite gone to plan. And the experience of Havorje and Hrgovic, the two Croatians that fight for the Astana Arlands, have just managed to turn the tables. Feliz Hergovic! El aplauso Hergovic makes it 18 and 3 then on the WSB. Oh, a few fighters with a record like that to match. Quality performance again from him. Foro Polanco, Ciudad de México, México, Rusia. Muchas gracias. Well, it was billed as last chance saloon tonight for Mexico Guerreros, but I'm afraid the fortress has been breached. Astana Arlands, Kazakhstan, spoil the party for the Mexico Guerreros in the World Series of Boxing for this season. And once again, just like the semi-finals, it's a 3-2 victory for the boys from Kazakhstan.